In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to blow the Wildcat up in the backfield uh, for a loss of yardage. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to give you tactical tips, strategies, tactics, and concepts that you can use to improve your game in Madden NFL 21. And so if you want to get better at Madden 21, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. You can also turn on the notifications button because we upload four times a day here on YouTube, videos that are designed to help you. And I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe if that's something that interests you. All right, I got a question. Um, I got a question submitted, and if you have a Madden question, you can submit those questions via text. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. That is my personal cell phone number, and I try my best to respond to everybody within 24 hours. Um, but anyway, Wildcat trips over. This is what he said. He said, Cody, can you please help me stop the Wildcat or, or improve against the Wildcat because I'm having a really big issue stopping the power and the jet sweep. And, and so this is what we labbed up. Now, here's what I want you to know. If you haven't already, cons if you haven't already, I want you to purchase my Madden 21 competitive bundle. And here's why. It's not because, I, yes, money does help me keep doing these videos for you. But the reason is because we're getting ready to release what I believe to be one of the best run defenses in Madden in that ebook this week. And the 4-6 defensive playbook has everything. It has 3-4 bear. It has nickel normal, 3-3-5, 3-3-5 wide. Big nickel over G. Dollar 3-2-6. The only formation it doesn't have is dime 1-4-6. And in my and this is just my personal opinion, dime 1-4-6 is either going to get patched or it's it's um it's just not that good against the run. So if if you know that's what people that's why people are running two 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 running back sets. So anyway, let's just get into this. 4-6 bear under. Here's the setup. Literally, there's not what I love about Bear Under is just so simple to run. But I, I'm going to start with power, and then we'll go to Jet Sweep, okay? So we're going to run QB Power because I think that's the better one of the two runs. And then I'm going to come out. It doesn't really matter the play. I personally like Cover 3. You could also do Cover 1, okay? So we're just going to come out and Cover 3. The trick is to just use the safety. The, the cool part about Wildcat is there's an auto motion. Whenever there's an auto motion, you know when the ball is going to snap. So you know that as soon as he starts his auto motion, this is all you got to do. You're going to use your Troy Apke. As soon as he starts his auto motion, you are going to run him down and through this gap right here. This gap is going to open up like the Red Sea party, and you're going to be able to just literally blow the run up. So I'm going to start here. So snap the ball. I'm going to run right through. And it's a hit stick. Literally, it's a hit stick every time um, if you time it right. If you time it right. So I'll show you this. And this is very, very consistent. Literally, he's going to call snap. He's going to run through. And you're going to just run right through it. And so it's a, it's a tackle every single time. Now, one of the reasons that you might say, well, I want to run cover two, right? And you, you can say that. That's fine. Um, I want to run man-to-man -man coverage. You see here, um, it doesn't quite work the same. It doesn't quite work the same against man-to-man -man coverage. In my opinion, you see they get out and they go. Now, part of that's because, uh, you know, that's, that's partially due to some other things as well. Um, and what I like to also do real quick is I like to, if you press coverage, um, you can blitz the corners off the outside. That's just going to help a little bit because it's Wildcat. They're not going to – more than likely, they're not going to be throwing the ball. More than likely – like the only likelihood of them throwing the ball is if they're using like a Lamar Jackson or you're playing Mutt and they've got some kind of crazy setup. So more than likely, they're not going to be throwing the ball out of this. And, again, this is just an easy shoot. I mean, this is – pretty pretty simple um you you do want to try to make sure that your uh linebacker on the right side doesn't come down so sometimes i just won't press i'll just leave it like this and and, and rely on my user to blow it up and you see it's very consistent sometimes i miss a tackle that's a user error that's not the play error all right so that's that's qb power what i want to do now is i want to show you the setup and the setup is very similar uh to stop the jet sweep there's really not really anything different that i do um i think personally that gap press is a little bit better uh, of an overall run defense against this but let me just show you here so cover three and we're literally just gonna see how the linebacker comes in the gap you don't want that to happen so just bring him out but here here's jet sweep so i'm gonna do the same gap shoot that i just did and what you'll see here is i can blow that up as well very very simple um it's literally almost exactly the same timing as well so it's come through gap shoot jet sweep the run motion is a little bit faster the, the motion is a little bit faster faster so what's your what and that's kind of your tip off right that's kind of your tip off is how you're knowing that oh they're gonna run jet sweep here because he's gonna come through a little bit faster and if you can get up in here and just use her this you're gonna be able to consistently shut it down for about you know negative one play um, you know if that 
One other thing that you can do if you know they're running jet sweep is you can just come around just like this right here and just protect the edge. If you see, if you see, so when you're running down with your user, so it's like, okay, I'm running down with my user and I see, oh, he's jet sweep because he snapped the ball faster, then I just swing wide. And if I just swing wide, this thing is boxed. I mean, it's completely stopped, completely shut down. There's really nothing, uh, in my opinion, that your opponent can do because they can't audible. You can't audible once you're in this. And as you can see here, you can shoot through that gap very easily from cover three. Um, let me show you cover one, just how it defends this. Cover one's not bad, um, but you see here, you don't, you can't shoot as well. You can't shoot as well from man coverage. That's just my personal opinion. You, you can't shoot as well, at least in bear under, as you can from when the zones, um, and that's fine. But if you, if you just crash your line out, this is gonna open up shooting lanes. You're gonna come right through here, boom and you're just gonna take this play down. So that's how you stop the Wildcat in Madden 21. I appreciate you guys texting in that question. Really appreciate it. If you have a Madden 21 question, just text me. Or if you just wanna to talk to me about Madden, you can always text me. Um, again, I try to respond within 24 hours or everything. So thank you guys so much for your support on the channel. It's meant the world to me. Um, our growth this year has been amazing, and we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep posting. Um, I'm committed to this channel. I'm committed to you guys and helping you guys get better, and I'm committed to getting better myself because I'm not the best Madden player in the world. I just want to work harder, and I want to I want to learn and grow and not be married to you know the bunch scheme that I've ran for you know, since Madden 12, right? Continuing to adapt, continuing to adjust, continuing to change matters. So if you're interested in getting better, if you're interested in going down that path with me, I want to ask you right now to jump in my Discord. Uh, you can join my Discord by clicking the link in the description. There's a link that says you can join my Discord by clicking here. Click that link. It's completely free. For those of you that don't know what Discord is, Discord is a communication platform that allows you to um, t basically text and chat through an app in a group of people uh and we have a, a great community over on discord so i'm just so excited uh i can't wait to talk to you guys over there uh introduce you introduce you guys to the team over there it's gonna be awesome so thank you so much for your time today i hope this video was helpful we're gonna be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock eastern time so at 10 o'clock eastern time if you just type in my channel madden 21 tips and tricks it'll come up in, in the youtube search you can, you can check out our live stream. I'd really appreciate that. I'd love to meet you uh, live. We stream every night. I play with subscribers. I play with members. Uh, we talk Madden. We talk Air Raid. We talk uh, how to stop certain things, answer questions, all that fun stuff. So we'll see you over there.